Hello guys, welcome to the web scraping using Python lesson. In this lesson, what we are going to do is set up your Jupyter Notebook to import all the required libraries and then let us start with extracting news from the internet. Now what we'll do here is we will uh, first go to economic times and then fetch all the news articles from there so that we know which particular stock has been in the news in the recent past. Now in this particular lesson I'm going to just start with web scraping. Okay guys so this is the Jupyter Notebook I'm going to start from the scratch so that you guys can follow and set up your own scraping code. Alright, so uh, we are going to need a couple of libraries for this. Uh, we are going to need requests and beautiful soup, which is BS4. Now, from BS4, we are also going to need beautiful soup. Shift enter as we learnt. Now, first thing we'll do is find out what is the URL from where we are going to get these news articles so economic times let's search for the stock section markets and markets news Okay, where can I find a lot of links here? So, a lot of research needs to be done in just setting up your scraper. Once you have that, things get really easy. Now, yeah, let's try this. All right. So yeah, this looks fine. Looks like there are a lot of articles here. We will need only the headlines and maybe even this bit. Hmm. Oh, there are more. Okay. So looks like there are a lot of news articles here. But what we can do is we can fetch the top few. So this link looks good. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to make this my URL. Alright. So once we have the URL, what we also need to do is we'll, uh, we'll fix our user agent. So since it's a Python script, this won't have a user agent and some websites tend to block requests coming from uh, coming from browsers that do not have a user agent so what I'll do is I'll quickly uh, okay so well this is a tutorial within a tutorial let's go to the console and get navigator dot user agent All right, so let's copy this and paste. Okay, this should be it. So we have our user agent also in place. Now let's make use of the requests library and request the data from the URL and pass the headers that we just made. Alright, looks good. Okay, this ran. 
now we use beautiful so R now has the source code for this particular URL now we'll use beautiful soup soup is equal to bs4 dot beautiful soup and r dot text beautiful so what we are doing here is we converting r we converting the source code saving it in the variable r r dot text will give you all the text that it has we'll use beautiful soup to basically skim through it and what we'll do is okay we need a parser we need a parser here html dot prcr oh hopefully this works oh yeah it does now let's quickly see what all we got here so soup dot find oh well, there you go here you go so we got all of the source code in soup hmm Cayman Islands Iranian real wow so basically we got all the currencies as well looks like hmm wow so this is a lot of data that we have here we still need to be able to parse this and get whatever we need okay basically guessing games is on all right so what the key indicators are signaling for the market on monday looks like it is an article 10 factors that are going to move market on Monday. All right, guys, so this is exactly the kind of stuff that we need to get on with our web scraping course. This will also set the foundation for a lot of financial analysis courses. Now, all right, I'm gonna make it easy for you guys and just look at all the divs that this particular soup variable contains so now we get all the divs as you can see we get only the div elements now if we go back to the website and check out basically inspect this particular article to find out what the class is okay what the element is now it's an a okay that does not really give me a lot uh, okay this is a now what is this a with some data or fit okay this is different from the previous one okay so this is underscore one the next one was underscore two but I want the whole block I do not want just this I want this text as well because this seems to substantiate the first article headline uh, all right all right let's see what this is oh yeah there you go so class of this particular div so this is one div and the class is each story okay before that I can fetch tab data okay yeah that that's also a good idea now let's see what this each story is looks like each story means each of these articles now okay yes yes that's exactly what it is div class each story each story all right this is perfect so i'm going to copy this control c and go here and i want my class here to be each story now let's see what this gives okay perfect so oh uh, what was the news article here five of top 10 firms add something something 1.63 lakh crores right so first div 
under the a tag we get market stocks news right here it is so five of top 10 firms add rupees 1.63 lakh crore in mcap ril sparkles so reliance industries well it has been in the news lately after the facebook geo deal in 2020 all right second class is housing prices up nine in last one year across nine cities let's see if that's the second article yep that's what it is so we found the tag guys now we can ignore this news page for the time being and what we will do now is find the first one zero so this is the first article and if we find um, the a tag what do we get what do we get so we get this and if we find the text oops now a href something image r r i l sparkle something something Merge with okay. So this looks like it's the last text. All right. So this this is the last one, not the first one. So minus one. Uh oh dot text. Right, here it is. This is what we wanted. Five of top ten firms add rupees 1.63 lakh crore in mid cap RIL sparkles. So, this was the basic setup for our web scraper to fetch the top news articles from it can be any website, but to start with, we've chosen Economic Times in India, and it's a pretty good website to go to for stock related news so all right thank you guys do not forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video where we'll proceed with this and we'll also write a code that gives us the that gives us the top 10 news and not just the top headline what we also need here is the text underneath it because that seems to add a lot of information now the headline only said something about ril but i know hul hdfc bharti airtel itc and icc bank also have been in the news and that is really good information for financial analysis okay so thank you guys do subscribe